Well, hello everybody, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is so by, I guess it's Saturday night, right? Yeah, Saturday night at 7 p.m. And that means it is time for a YouTube video. So let me just do a quick refresh over here to be sure I'm actually transmitting. It looks like I am, but still says waiting. So, you know, it's confused. There we go. All right, I see movement in my arm appendages, so that is a good thing. All right, so here is the card that I gave you the sneak peek of this morning. We have got the two new sets, really. We have the Beauty of the Deep bundle. And it's got this beautiful die. I've been wanting to play with this die since I saw it. Hey, Rosie. Hi, Mary. Hello, Faith. Appreciate you coming. And uh, so I did play with that because I had to. And this is a, uh, an image-only set, obviously. You can tell. You know how you can tell? This is a trick that really only Stampin' Up! demonstrators know. But you can tell it's image-only because there are no sentiments in it. Okay? So, you're going to need a sentiment set. I decided to play with circle sayings because I noticed that one of the images is an ocean with a sunrise, and somehow those two things just went together to, for, to me like, uh, you know, white and rice. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all coming. Hi Marva and Lynn and Danette, and I know I've missed some folks who are scrolling, so I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and get started. Everything will be on my blog tomorrow, so you do not even need to take notes. You can just watch and hopefully enjoy. So I'm gonna start with a piece of um, Misty Moonlight cardstock. This is a returning favorite color, and it is a favorite. And it's a little bigger than I need because I want to stamp all over it and let it dry, and then I'm going to cut the largest of the deckled rectangles from it, okay? So let me get my Misty Moonlight out. Hey, Melanie, I really liked this right from the jump. Um, when I saw it, so I was really happy it was on my uh, pre-order list that I was able to get. So I've got the little, you know, seaweed image from Beauty of the Deep, and I'm just going to stamp it sort of randomly. It may not look very random, and that's because I, I don't do random very well. <laughs> I'd like to do random, but somehow it always ends up looking like I meant for it to be a pattern, but didn't really quite achieve it. And that is part of why I have a larger than I need panel so that I'm not trying to really think about where everything goes. If you are better at this than I am, you could absolutely cut that deckled rectangle out before you get going with the stamping and then you'll be ready to hit it. Okay, so I've got it covered with just, that's all it is, it's tone on tone. And I know, Linda, it's absolutely one of my favorites as well. Now I'm going to take some um, Whisper White. This is our craft ink. So remember the thing about craft ink is it takes a minute to dry. And that's part of why we're doing this first. I would recommend when you make this card that you do the same. So I'm going to take the this huge and beautiful, uh, let's call it coral, except I don't think it's coral. I think it's those big seaweeds. I think it's a big seaweed, but whatever it is, it's a pretty image. And I'm gonna stamp it all over in the white. Okay, and it isn't gonna be terribly pronounced. It's not like you're gonna go, oh, look at that. There's white all over that card front but it's gonna make some texture and a little bit of fun and some interest. All right, so there we go. Hey, Lois, hi, Mary Lou. Okay, there we go. So I am going to quick clean this off. Craft ink is very thick, all right? So you do, like Versamark, I like to get it cleaned right away. Regular inks, I'm bad, I'll let it set. You saw I let that set. I'll clean that just to be, to show a good example, set a good example. And then I'm gonna close this up so we don't have an ink catastrophe. And I'm gonna set this aside for a minute while we work on the sentiment and that can dry. All right, now I've got a piece let me be sure I'm using the right piece of basic white, yes. Okay, I have a piece of basic white, and I'm going to stamp the ocean image from Circle Sayings um, in Smoky Slate. All right. Hey, Polly. Hi, Janie. Hi, Karen. All right, just know if I don't say hello, it's because you've scrolled past. Now, I am going to stamp this right here. 
like a so. And then once again, close the mist. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead while we're at it. I'm taking, these are seashells. I mean, seriously, it's like it was meant to go with Beauty of the Deep. Okay, so I have seashells, and I'm gonna stamp them also in Smoky Slate down here, like that. Before I mess with the other image, let me go ahead and color these little shells. So I have light Daffodil Delight, dark Petal Pink, and dark, or sorry, light Bubble Bath. Not Bubble Gum, Bubble Bath. And I'm gonna take the Bubble Bath and I'm going to color these, um, I think these are conch shells, pretty sure they are. I just made that up, but I think that's what they are. And then this I think is a Nautilus and it's gonna be Bubble Bath color too. And then this one is gonna be, this is another one, a different kind. It's a completely different kind, but it's going to be bubble bath as well. All right. And we're gonna sponge over that, so I'm not gonna really get too het up about coloring and making it all, you know, shaded and everything. And they're so small, it would really be kind of pointless. But now with my petal pink, I am going to color the other two shells. And then Daffodil Delight, I arbitrarily decided that the um, starfish would be Daffodil Delight. They could also be crushed curry. They could probably even be wild wheat. And all of it would look just fine, I think. But I like Daffodil Delight, so there we go. Now, let's color this image. I am going to use my small, and I, you know, I have a fourth one of these that I don't think I've ever even used, but it's not in my holder, which means it's... Mm, gone forever. It is lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry. Okay, never mind. That's the wrong song. Okay, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight, and I'm using this small brush so that I can kind of keep it just around the star, or the star, the sun, which is a star. I wasn't wrong, but that's not really what we think. And I'm going to just try to kind of keep it in that part and not get so much in the ocean, mostly because I'm trying to avoid that green flash. We don't need green flash, okay? And the small blending brushes are perfect for this very thing right here. And you can be as dark or as light as you like. Okay, now, hello B. appreciate you joining. And now I'm going to take some more Misty Moonlight and color the ocean. Finn may have taken the blending brush. There is That is not even as unlikely as it might sound. Now, you notice I'm not really worrying about how far outside of the circle I go. It's because I'm going to cut it out. But you do want to be sure, especially with a brand new ink pad like I have. See, I got a lot of ink over there. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to get a big old smudge. So we're going to try to be careful. And then go easy to start with. You can always add. It is way harder to take it off. One might even go with, it's impossible to take it all off. It's really hard once you get it on there. So just go easy. Take your time. All right. The nice thing about it being water is if it gets a little bit splotchy, I'm okay with that. I actually kind of think it gives it a little life. So that's all I'm going to do there, except I am going to take a sentiment from Circle Sayings, and I'm gonna stamp it right. I'm gonna bring it to me just so I have it where I can make sure I'm sort of straight. I'm gonna stamp it right there in Misty Moonlight, just like that. Alrighty, a smidge instead of a smudge, correct. There it is, oh my darling, Clementine. Now, we're going to fussy cut these shells. So I'm gonna cut that off right now. And I'm going to use one of these, one of these here stylish shape circles. This one, it's actually the kind of the third from the largest. And I'm gonna cut this out, okay? I'll be right back. Be right back up with you. I'll be right back with you after these cutting messages. All right. I need to have like a commercial that comes on that says, you 
suffer from dry hands from washing the dishes at night, well, let me introduce you to Dawn Dishwashing. That wouldn't do that to you. That would be so rude. Okay, so there we go. There's our little sentiment. Now I'm going to take my not very inky Daffodil Delight blender, blending brush, and I'm just going to add a little color over the top of this. That's going to soften the edges when I adhere it here at the top of the sentiment. Okay. Hey, Judy, appreciate you coming. And now we're going to do a, a fussy cut. And I'm going to do kind of, it's going to be a, it's going to be a rough fussy cut. All right. By which I mean, I'm leaving some border. You can see I'm leaving a border as if I was die cutting, but I am going to relatively faithfully follow the outline of the image. Okay. Not, I'm not getting too wound up about it, but a little bit. All right, there we go. This is not a difficult fussy cut, so you can use that. This is an opportunity to practice your skills. You'll see I have the paper pushed right to the fulcrum. That's the fulcrum right there. And I am turning the paper with my left hand, which is holding the paper, not with my right hand, which is holding the scissors. Okay, I'm, I'm not turning the scissors. I'm turning the cardstock. And that got a little bit of, that got a little bit away from me. Just take your time. It helps to hold your mouth wrist right, which you can do if you're not trying to talk like I am, because you know what they say: dead air is bad. Somebody says that. Might have been on WKRP Cincinnati in Cincinnati. I think that's where I got that idea. All right, and I'm going to let that cut off right there so that I don't have to hold on to it. And then I'll just continue around like that. Did you see how I made that U-turn right there? Just by turning the paper. All right. Easy and peasy. I just couldn't believe. When I looked at this and saw the, the, star, the starfish and the shells and everything, I was like, that pretty much has to go with Beauty of the Deep. I'm pretty certain that... They were meant to go together. Y'all, I had a fun phone call today. The uh, ID came up with an 801 area code. That was um, Salt Lake City, Utah. So I answered, thinking that, you know, it was probably somebody trying to sell me a car warranty or something. But you know what? You know who it was? Y'all want to know who it was? It was Shelly Gardner. Mm -hmm. Shelly Gardner, the founder of this company, was calling to congratulate me on a recent sales milestone that I hit back in January and I was so tickled I went I, I kind of went all fangirl I'm not gonna lie like, oh Shelly it's so nice to hear from you I'm so oh I appreciate you taking the time to call so much but I thought that was really nice of her I don't know if other companies do that but I think it kind of shows that they they kind of care about their people and I liked it made me happy made me happy yeah, I know. Wasn't that fun? And to think I almost, she said, I'm really glad you answered. She said, I would have left you a really long voicemail, but it's a lot more fun to talk. And I'm like, well, I almost didn't because, you know, unrecognized number. But I thought, what the heck? It's it's Saturday. What's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue and put it just along the top here of the die cut. And... Then we're going to adhere this like so. And I'm just doing this now. You could you could actually do it once it's on the card front, but this way it gets plenty of time to, you know, set and think about what it's going to do, think about its job. All right, now let's see. This should be dry. We'll just do a quick check. Yep, it is. So I'm going to go one more time off camera, and this is the last time, I promise. And I'm going to cut the uh, largest of the deckled rectangles out, okay? To make us a card front. All righty, here we go. Here we go. All righty. All righty, righty, righty. There, okay. 
Now, I have also done the same size deckled rectangle from a little bit of bubble bath. And before you joined, um, I cut out one of the, um, well, you know, let's call it coral from this. And I actually did it, uh, you could if you wanted to, and it wouldn't be a problem, you could cut it right out of the middle of this mat because this is gonna be covered just like that. And that would save you some cardstock and some weight. Okay, so maybe think about doing that. Apparently I did not think about doing that. Okay, and I also cut the same die cut from a piece of vellum. So let us begin, shall we? All right, so what it's going to do, we're going to have this like so, all on a misty moonlight mat. And we're going to put these down. And then we're gonna put this little guy down and we're gonna have some twine, okay? So let's go ahead and do a little adherating. We're gonna do some adherating. Thanks guys. I know, what if I had missed the call? What if I had ignored that? I would have felt so bad. She'd taken her time out of her Saturday to call me and I blew her off. No, I thought you wanted to forgive my student loan. Okay, whatever. All right, let's put this aside because I don't need it right now. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. Now you'll notice I only put the glue down towards the bottom part of the coral on the vellum, okay? Because the vellum, it's gonna show, but I know that I'm going, because I know what my design looks like, and you will too when you case this, I know it's going to be covered. If I didn't have it covered, it would show, see? So, you know, think about, think about the end result of your, of your card layout so that you don't have things showing that you wished you didn't. Now on this one, you can go all the way, you can go everywhere that you like, but again, you don't need it. And to be quite honest, I kind of like it. I'm gonna stick it behind there though. I kind of like it um, sitting up a little bit. I think it gives it a little more depth to the card. I just made that up. It sounded good though, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna take a couple of glue dots, a couple of glue dots. Thanks, I know, I really, 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 yes, Faith, that's what I thought was an extended car warranty on the car I haven't even bought. Yeah, exactly, that one. Or the one that's sitting in the collision center. That one would have been fun. All right, I don't know what I was saying. But okay, I'm gonna take a couple of glue dots. We're gonna put them on the back of the card front. We're gonna put them on the back of the front, the front of the back, back of the front. Like a shoe. And then I'm going to take some basic white Baker's twine and hook it on the glue dot on one side and then wind around twice. And you kind of want it to be straight. You can fix it afterwards, but especially with the deckled, it's a little bit harder to do um, after the fact. So try to make it straight as you're winding it. And also don't pull it real hard. If you pull too hard, you're going to end up with um, a, a bent card front. Okay, so we'll turn it like so and get our ribbon scissors and cut that off and we'll keep that for a minute. We're gonna fix, do a little more with that in a second and adhere it like that. There we go. Now, 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 we're going to get our dimensionalities out and I'm going to put some dimensionals on my card front because that way I don't even have to worry about where that that twine is. Hello, Amanda from Melbourne. Welcome. Hi, Polly from... See, I've been doing that. How many years have I been doing that, Holly? I've been calling you Polly because my brain doesn't do Holly Paulson. It goes Polly. I'm sorry about that. And I think I've apologized a million times and yet I don't fix it. I am so sorry. Welcome Holly from South Dakota. All right, so we'll pull the dimensional covers off. I do love these undersea. I love these dies. I love the dies. Okay, and then we're going to center that up like so. Actually, I want it down just a little bit. I might want to move my twine. No, we'll make, we're going to leave it like that. Okay, so there we go, like so. And then I'm going to take 
a double length of my baker's twine. Mm -hmm. And you always see me cut a lot more than I need, and it's just because I am a bit fat-fingered when it comes to making bows, and so I give myself lots of leeway. If you are better at making bows, which is like everybody on the planet, then I would suggest that you could make it a smaller one. And I am just going to tie a bow around that twine that was on my, that was already wrapped around, okay? And I want it to kind of go like that. And then we'll get this undone from the inside of that loop, like a shoe. And straighten it up a little bit. And because this is how I did it, instead of trying to tie it exactly right, you can just kind of scoot the bow so that it's right up against your sentiment, like that, like that. And then trim your tie, little ends. You can still see where I had the two pieces. And you can tidy that up. You know, a, a little tiny smaller looped bow looks just a little tidier. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this on our card front. Let's be, let's go crazy and really hang it out there. Now I want my card front, the blue portion to be relatively straight so that my sentiment is straight. So I'm gonna put this on at an angle. Oh yes, they are showing eight to 10 days behind. Um, between the holiday and that weather spat that they had last week, um, they're a little behind. So it will ship, I promise. Can't not say when, would not even attempt to try, but it will. All right, then we'll put this on with the dimensionales. Wouldn't it be fun if we had, I mean, and I know I can color them if I wanted to, but I just think it would be fun to have dimensionals in misty moonlight and bubble bath and all the colors. That would be like an inventory nightmare, right? What's in that corner, uh, dimensionals? Uh, so it's Mary Heaven. Where does Mary go to craft wherever the dimensionals are? Okay, now we'll go ahead one more time, just one more time making sure I'm actually doing it right side up. And then we'll center this up. And you've just got a little tiny bit of the bubble bath paper showing. So you see why you could actually cut that die cut right from the center of that? You will never see it, but you would have saved yourself another piece of cardstock. So don't be like me. Do it and be so thrifty, 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 thrifty. Okay, now I have some iridescent pearl basic jewels, and I'm just going to adhere some of them, man. I'm just going to go for it because I think they really look like water bubbles. They're real pretty, pretty shiny. Pretty. And I'm using mostly little ones. Put a couple of three here. And then another big one over here. And another little one over here. Oh, 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 got away from me. Okay. Now, there we go. So there's your card front. Easy peasy, right? I mean, the hardest part on there is the fussy cut, and it really wasn't that hard anyway. So I don't even count it as hard. No. All right. For the innards, we are going to stamp our seaweed slash coral, depending on, you know, how you see it. If you squint right, it looks like seaweed. If you squint the other way, then it looks like coral. So it's going to be pink on the inside, which means, I think it means it's coral, but that's just me. And we're gonna stamp it right in the middle, like that. And then, as that sits and dry, oh, you know what? Let's be all efficient. How about that? Let's go crazy and stamp it on our envelope flap while it's here and the ink pad is open. And we're gonna stamp in the corner. And then we're going to stamp, no DSP anywhere on this card. So I'm going to stamp the envelope flat, like so. Now I can put my bubble bath away. 
I know, there's the, a little bling. Little bling's the thing. Bling is the thing. No, that's not the song. All right, and then I'm gonna take my seaweed, my seaweed here. And we're gonna do a little bit of misty moonlight, a couple of little fronds there. Ow. You know, that thing is sharp when you stick your hand on it. Just throwing that out there. And we'll do a couple there. Maybe one more. Maybe one more. There, like that. Okay. And that is our envelope. And I'm not going to put any seaweed in here. I'm going to put the second part of the sentiment. So remember, the front said smile. And the inside from Circle Sayings now says, because you're awesome. Smile because you're awesome. Isn't that sweet? I love, I really do like this set a lot. It's fun. Now, put it on a little bubble bath mat and into our Misty Moonlight card base. And because all we're doing with the envelope is the stamping that we've already done, we'll be done skating. Pink and blue. Really? Could it be any more classic than that? Uh, whoops. I shouldn't put a cut inside in that. That would be silly. There we go. And it's kind of fun because this is a sponging technique or a blending technique, depending on how you want to call it. You can get different, you'll get a different look each time. You could use different colors. I mean, my engineer brain says you're always going to have yellow or orange or something near the top for the sun, the sunset, the sunrise, whatever, and some sort of blue. But you could have a blue-green. You could go Azure Afternoon. You could go Orchid Oasis or Boho Blue. Lots of things you could do for ocean. But I used the same color on both of these cards. And you can see this one looks a little different because I was a little heavier with the blending with both the Daffodil Delight and the Misty Moonlight on both sides. So you decide what makes you happy. But I do think regardless, Beauty of the Deep, the bundle, the whole bundle, and the Circle Sayings stamp set. Now, the Circle Sayings does actually come bundled. It will on the 2nd of May with the 2 and 3 eighths inch Circle Punch. But that was bigger than I needed or wanted, and so I did not need it for this card. But it is there, and it is a very, very nice size punch. All right, guys, I really appreciate it. And I hope you will join me again on Thursday for another YouTube video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and see ya. Bye.